Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently Friday, the 27th of March, and it is day one of the South Africa lockdown. And I decided, how am I going to spend 21 days of lockdown? So I decided to come to Saldana and bring along all of my makeup and film some content for you guys. So already I'm feeling bored it's day one of quarantine and I'm feeling bored but that is why we have YouTube and we have the power of filming and the power of the internet to keep us entertained oh gosh just um, excuse the the breakout situation I'm it's 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 my 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 time of that month <laughs> Just a, just a side note quickly, I know this is probably nothing to do with what we are going to film, but just a side note quickly, I am someone that has, that suffers from cystic acne, like I get clusters of acne all over my face and recently my skin has cleared up beautifully, so um, now that I get one or two pimples, I freak the fuck out, okay, and, and, and for someone who's used to having clusters of zits on their face, that now only gets one or two, and then I freak out. I'm like, oh my god, no, no. <laughs> the zit situation. Um, <clears throat> for today's video, I want to do something a bit more fun and colorful. So I'm actually really, really inspired by this chicky on Instagram. Her name is, let me just see. <clears throat> Her name is Iman Ek. Vaki, you know, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, girly, but you are, you are very talented and your makeup look inspired me. This makeup look over here, I'm going to put it up on the screen just now. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to do a recreation of this look because I feel like it's, it's very, it's a very simple kind of look, but vibrant and colorful and the wing is to die for. So... Yeah, we're going to do that look today, so if you want to see how I recreate this look, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, I am back. My brows are done. You know we can't start a video without the brows being done. So, okay, primer first. Before I go in with my primer, I'm going to go in with this Clinique Moisture Surge 24 hour, 27, 72 hours. <laughs> 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This is... um moisturizer um so i'm gonna do a moisturizer and the primer because my skin needs a bit of extra love so let's go ahead and do that okay then for primer i'm gonna go in with the revlon rose glow illuminating primer this primer has quickly become one of my favorites it actually makes a difference like in my skin as far as like face makeup like as far as laying makeup on top of my skin my skin actually looks very 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 pretty so this is a win for me i didn't like it in the beginning because do you see those little balls in there this these little balls like stick to my face and i don't know what to do with them so, um, yeah, ball sticking to your face is, it's not, it's not a plan, hey? So, yeah, I actually quite like it because I like the fact that it's not too overly sticky. It has a, the slightest bit of tackiness to it, but I mean, it does the job, so it's fine. Okay, time for foundation for today. I'm actually going to keep it quite simple. So I'm going to go in with my Reb... No, this is not Reblon. Sorry. Yardley London Stay Fast 24 Hour Foundation in the color LM3N.
For concealer, of course, I'm going to use this one. This is the Inglot All Covered Concealer in number 17. This concealer really does the trick, but the only thing that I need to mention, actually, that I discovered, the only thing I don't like about this concealer is the flashback. There is heavy flashback when you're taking pictures with this concealer and your flash is on. Like, there is the Kim Kardashian West white as fuck under eye. So, if you are going somewhere where there are going to be pictures involved and the flashing cameras and all of that, do not use this concealer because there will be flashback. Now I'm going to set my face using the Inglot Mattifying Loose Powder in number 31. Okay guys, I'm back. I zoomed you in a bit closer because I felt like you were a bit too far away for me. So now I'm going to bronze and for bronzer, oh. for bronze I'm going to go in with my MAC bronzing powder in refined golden. Okay, so I quickly just cleaned up my cheek and my nose, so now I'm going to go in with blush. For blush today, I'm going to go in with this little Inglot collection of blushes that I have, and I'm going to use that blush over there. That is the Inglot blusher in number 126. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with this Inglot highlighter over there. That is the Inglot HD highlighter in number 153. Okay, so even closer up now because we're going to do eyes. I'm going to go in with my NYX. Off Tropic Eyeshadow Palette in Hasta La Vista and to start off I'm going to go in with this yellow shade over there and I'm going to apply that shade like on the inner portion of my lid. So she wants to be bold so this yellow is quite pastel in terms of like the pigment it's very 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 faded pigment so you need to like bold it to the pigment that you want it so we're gonna just keep bolding I mean it's taking forever to bold it's taking about 10 years to get to the pigment that I want but you know what we have nothing but time here so we're gonna keep on bolding the next shade I'm going to go in with is this one over there and I'm just going to go right next to that yellow shade. Okay, going back in with that same palette, I'm now going to take this hot pink shade and I'm going to put it right next to that peachy coral shade just to add a bit of vibrance to that eye look. Okay, now following those same steps on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to go off camera quickly to do some mascara, a fierce wing, some false lashes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it's time for lips. I'm going to go in with this MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Persistence. And then over top of that, I'm going to use this Elizabeth Arden lip gloss. This is like a pale nude gloss just to top that. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to use the lip gloss because I like the way that this looks. So, yeah. 
Okay guys, so this is my finished look. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys loved it as well. I added the rhinestones because I feel like I'm just a rhinestone kind of girl and I was not going to miss out on this opportunity to add some rhinestones. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Use this lip gloss because I act rare. Why are you meowing in my video? Where's the ticket? VSD. I just want to talk for like a few seconds. Okay.